Hi, I'm Lana Jackson from Mastering Your Instincts and I will be joining you on the online Prosperity Show. While I'm speaking with Prosper, we're going to be looking at how to discover your inner compass, how to work with your instincts, your intuition, and connect with yourself on a deeper level so that you can create the life that you have always wanted to live. We'll be looking at my background, how I got to be where I am today, and I'll be sharing a few little tips with you on what to think about for the onset of 2018. So join me live with Prosper on the online prosperity show. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the life strategist herself, Lana. Lana, how are you doing, my love? I'm well, thank you, Prosper. Thank you for having me on your show. Absolutely. Well, Lana is a mentor, she's a teacher, and also is a life strategist. And she's passionate about helping people to actually help themselves in order to overcome whatever challenges they might be facing in their life. Um, or in their businesses or in their career as well. So she's here today to let us know how you can actually be doing, have a happier existence and also connect yourself on a much deeper level so you can create that life you've always dreamed of. Now, Lana, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you actually got started in this um, you know, journey of yours to be a life strategist. Well, uh Thank you for asking. Look, for me, uh, it's been a long journey. I started off, uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm an intuitive person and uh, a, an astrologer and a psychic medium as well. So I started off, you know, from birth being like this, but of course, went about a career like everyone else, left school and, and started in the bank and then worked in corporate for 10 years. And uh, during that time, uh, studied human resources, worked with workers' compensation, all of, all of the human, res uh, any human resource function I performed in that 10 years' time. Then I was made redundant from that job and went to university and became a school teacher, a primary school teacher. And uh, throughout that, I uh, still continued to connect with my abilities as well. And uh, taught primary, primary school children for five years and felt that I could do more beyond that and, and became a workplace trainer. And <laughs> so my, my life was uh, all about walking with my feet in both camps. And so from there, then started uh, working with people on the dole and doing a lot of work for the dole work. So applying my corporate knowledge and my teaching knowledge and my training knowledge in helping people to understand themselves better and then define the type of career that they actually wanted to do and then helping them go in the right direction to achieving that and we had some fantastic results with the people that I worked with because you know, I do what I love and I love what I do so I'm very passionate about helping people to understand themselves better because in my, my philosophy is that when you understand yourself better you open yourself up to many, many more choices in life. So uh, that's the essence of what I now do in bringing all of my abilities together. And uh, 11 years ago, I went into business for myself, uh, working with my clients and uh, bringing everything together. And last year, I actually created a program, uh, online-based program that would assist people in doing that as well. So my, my career has been uh, left, right, forward, right, left, forward. <laughs> Absol <laughs> to get right Ab today. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for that in-depth, um, you know, description of, uh, you know, your, your history and how it all came together. Because um, according to, you know, your, your, your own beliefs, you do understand that everything happens for a reason because it always shapes us to the person that we are today. So had you not been made redundant, we would probably not be making this, um, you know, interview here today. So everything just does work out on its own. So in between all of that, um, you know, you, you did do, you know, everything uh, that any person would do you became a wife you became a mother of three 
And, you know, you would have experienced the highs and lows of life's relationships. You know, you had a, you had a divorce in between there and then went on to single parenting, et cetera, et cetera. Now, tell us a little bit about how you have been managing to sail through all of those mishaps because had anyone just been given one of those blows in life, they would have just given up and said, you know what, hands up, you know, yeah. life is just throwing me curveballs. Um, what, what, what sort of is giving you that strength um, and, and the passion to keep going? Look, for me, I always say uh, I haven't travelled the world, but I've travelled a lifetime. And if they wrote a book, they'd sit it on the fiction shelf if I wrote a book about the different uh, things that I've, ha I've dealt with in my life. I believe that everything happens for a reason and I'm grateful for the adversities as much as I am the, the tribulations that have happened in my life. I've had a child with cancer, I've been divorced, I've married again, I have a 23-year-old, a 7-year-old and a 4-year-old and sometimes I think, what was I thinking? But in saying that, I see my children as my greatest teachers, all three of them, uh, in, in their varying ages. And what actually keeps me going is because I have a really strong uh, sense of knowing that I am here to help people to understand themselves on a deeper level because that's always been a mission of my own. I'm fully aware of who I am and I'm not perfect, but in this moment I am. And so uh, my husband's not perfect, but he's my perfect. And the career that I'm, I've chosen is not about the job that I do, but about all of the different ways that I've gathered gathered knowledge, skills, experience, wisdom, and worked with my internal abilities to drive me forward in doing all of that. My children are a really big motivator because I, I have a really strong belief that to be a good uh, role model is to show them what their options are as well. So what drives me is all of the above, but I also have this internal compass that that keeps me going as well, that helps me to understand I connect with myself on a number of different levels. Uh, and when things do come across my radar for me to, to connect with and work with, I really, really trust my own instincts as well. My instincts have really been a big driver. I have experienced uh, you know, close to bankruptcy twice and I'm still here and I'm still in business and we still have a roof over our head and food in our bellies and and loving the home. So I think that when you connect with yourself and you have that really strong passion and drive to do whatever it is that you choose to do, you always find a way. Your instincts always give you that guidance. Uh, it's a feeling that you get. Your instincts are a feeling and your intuition interprets that feeling and you take it from there. So for me, uh, trusting that has been tested over the years and, uh, you know, made some bad decisions early in my business that have taught me incredibly and certainly woken me up to where I wanted to go in my business. So, again, every adversity that I have had in my life has given me the opportunity to learn and a teacher is always a learner. And so in my learning, I am then able to empathise and share with my clients when I work with them on, on their level and help them to surpass that level and move forward and to see that life has possibilities and mindset is a really, really big part of that. So I still have my moments where I, I think, oh, far out, am I on the right track? But then my instincts kick in and, and just say to me, you know what, if you weren't meant to be here, you, you wouldn't be. I don't believe in coincident, coincidences. I believe in coincidences and they all occur at a time to, to give you that direction to show you where you can go. And I think that when you believe in yourself and when you know that you're capable of whatever you choose to, then you always head in that right direction for you in the end. You'll take side streets. So what? They're just learning opportunities. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for those strengthening words that you've just put out there. Um, because as you would understand, Lana, we're here to leave, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. And um, 
you're doing your contribution in teaching people and, you know, helping them understand, you know, themselves at a deeper level. And also you've learned all those lessons that have now shaped you to become the person that you have become. So like you say, things don't happen. Um, you know, things happen for a reason and they are, are core incidences that are actually occurring as, um, you know, the universes are aligning and stuff like that. Now you do also have psychic media and astrologer, um, you know, abilities. Would you um, say that has also helped you or are you also using that to actually help um, your clients now to actually figure out how they can be, do and have a happier existence? Absolutely. Uh, with, uh, with my abilities, uh, I touched on that with talking about instinct. In, in, an instinct is a feeling that you get. And, I'm, I'm, you know, most people have heard the expression of trust your gut. And the truth is, your gut is never wrong. Uh, the astrology has certainly helped me to understand myself on a much deeper level. Uh, astrology is not necessarily set in stone and, and your birth chart is a blueprint of where everything was when you were born. But the planets don't sit still and neither do we. And 50% of who we are is socially cultivated and the other 50% is DNA. So uh, who we interact with throughout our lives, different roles that we play throughout our lives. I know that the different roles that I have played in my life, being a daughter, a sister, a mother, a friend, a, a wife, a career woman, businesswoman, all of those things have all contributed, the experiences that I've had have contributed to that. And astrology has certainly given me guidance on how I'm, I'm expressing that or how, what path I'm on energetically. To understand how that will work. For me personally, my new year is the 20th of March because I actually work with the astrological calendar. So I work very energetically in my business. It helps me with my planning. It helps me with my goal setting, my strategies, my objectives. I really do look at the different energies that we're working with. Phases of the moon uh, affect our emotions we are 75 percent water and the moon governs the tide so when the moon moves through its different phases of full and new uh, most of us experience the energy that's going on and you know i have so many people contact me on a daily basis asking me what's happening with the energy at the moment and so for me uh i do an astrology update every week for people to understand the same as you would read in the magazines the difference is is that i'm actually connecting on a number of different levels when i do those updates also with my psychic ability i'm a big believer that everyone is psychic the only difference between myself and everybody else is it's like a muscle the more you use it the stronger it becomes and i just use it daily so it, it's become quite strong over the years mediumship is is different again because Mediums are actually born. You can't become a medium. And connecting with spirit uh, has been uh, one of my biggest teachers, actually, because when you connect with spirit on, a, on that level, you are bringing through messages for people. And, you know, it's for some people it's not their cup of tea, and I totally respect that, and I love skeptics because skeptics are open to learning more. So when I connect with people through mediumship, it's not about me, it's about the message that I'm delivering. And so you have to remove your ego as, as a medium. And ego is a necessary thing. We, we need to have ego. It pushes us forward and drives us, or it can hold us back and, and keep, us, uh, keep us contained. So when I'm doing my mediumship, I have to remove everything about me and deliver a message. I'm working psychically. I'm connecting with someone's energy. Uh, our psychic ability is the extension of us energetically. Our intuition interprets the instinct me messages our instincts give us and we then connect with others externally and that's how a lot of our lessons are learned. And this is my philosophy and, and what I have learned over 20 years of, of doing this and working in corporates and working in schools and working with a, a number of different levels of people when I say levels, I don't mean hierarchical. I mean where they are at, children through to the elderly. And in my experience of connecting with all of them, 
what I now work with is the common thread of all of them, is that we need to understand our personal energy and then we need to understand how we interact with others as our, with our personal energy while they are interacting with us and their personal energy. By get, reading the messages that are delivered through that interaction, we can then begin to understand how that affects us and then what choices we can make as a result of what we learn from that. So it's pretty complex. <laughs> Absolutely. But it is understandable, though, what it is that you are offering there. So just so that we can break it down and we, you can pull the curtain a little bit there, um, Lana, if, if somebody would come around to you, like you said, people are contacting you on a daily basis just so they can get answers or they can get, you know, a way for them to actually... Um, you know, connect with themselves on a much deeper level so they can create a life that they've always dreamed of. When somebody shows up at your doorstep, what, what, what sort of process do you take them through and what, what outcome do they leave with um, just so our audience has a clear sort of understanding of what they're getting themselves into if they <laughs> to, to <contact> you. <laughs> well, Look, first and foremost, I always, I always do a complimentary 15-minute session with every one of my clients. And the reason that I do that is because I, I want to see how I can assist them. And, and so I ask a lot of questions. Uh, the most intelligent people in the world are the ones that ask questions and make mistakes. So I uh, ask a lot of questions. I will also look at their astrology chart because I want to see what the blueprint is that they're working with. Then we go through a, a process of looking at what they actually want to do, um, probably formally known as a SWOT analysis. Where do they see themselves at currently? And where do they want to go? What do they feel they need to put in place? I really am a, also a big believer of language and uh, the way that we speak. Uh, to me, words have meaning. Meaning has intention. Intention creates energy, and that's what we put out to the universe for the law of attraction. So I uh, work with my clients on that level first. I offer a number of different services for my clients. So the idea of the 15-minute complimentary session is to identify which service suits them because it's not a one-size-fits-all situation and I work with people on their own personal level to help them go within and understand themselves and first and foremost is the mind body soul connection I feel that you need to you need to understand the feelings that you get when when different when you're having different experiences in life and one of the com one of the things that I do with my clients all the time is yes no it sounds like a very simple process and it is a simple process but uh, our head can create a lot of different things, but our body knows where we need to be. So when I go through that process, that's when people start to identify for themselves. I don't give people answers. The answers are already in you and where you want to go and what you want to do. I help you find them. Absolutely. I like, I like that um, you know, last statement because we already uh, are endowed with all that we are meant to become. And uh, all we need is people like yourself to remind us of what yeah. our mission and our true calling really is. Now, just in case, you know, you've mentioned that, um, uh, you know, not everyone is, it's, it's not a one size fits all uh, type setup. Because if you look at my fingers there, Lana, not all the fingers are the same height, right? What if somebody is now ready to connect with themselves on a really, really deeper level and they're ready to master their instincts so they can also help others. And in the process, they want to leave a life that they were actually born to leave. What's the best way that people can get a hold of you there, Lana? Well, certainly through Facebook uh, or my email address. Uh, to master your instincts, I actually have a nine-week uh, self-paced online mentoring program. So I, uh, I, I understand what it's like to be a busy person and, and to be either working or you know, in business for yourself. So I created a program that would allow people to work at their own pace and then connect with me uh, once a week for nine weeks. And so 
uh, I don't know about you, Prosper, but I don't have time to go to, to a different educational institution and spend four hours learning something. It takes you away from your home, family, business, whatever. So what I created was an online program uh, that people could work at at whatever time it suit, suited them. The reason that I did that is because I personally have done online programs and I found them so convenient and I thought, why not do that? Why not create that? So I've created that. I also do online consultations so I can do them via Zoom or uh, on the phone or via FaceTime, uh, Facebook Messenger chat and things like that. So I'm pretty accessible. I work with people all over the world actually, which is such an honour to be able to connect with people in, in different places. It gets a bit hectic sometimes with time zones, but we work it out. And uh, I also have a mini mini program called Discovering Your Inner Compass, which is, again, self-paced and online and only five quick videos. And uh, and I, I price pointed that because it's something that you will start to get an idea of where you're going just from that. And then I, I believe in free will and choice too. So I give people the opportunity to decide what they want as well. It, it's because of the way that I work and, and all of the knowledge, skills and experience that I have gathered over the years, I have the ability to be quite versatile and adaptable with my clients. I also run uh, astrology courses online too and I'm about to launch a new one in February and I've already got people lining up to do that. The beauty of it is, is that Everyone can do it. There are no class size limitations on my courses. And that's another thing that I love is that it makes me even more accessible for people. And then, of course, there's the personal consultations and, and readings. I do readings. I don't aim for predictions, but they come through. So there's many different ways that I work with my clients and I work on what they're working with because I have this awesome team behind me called Spirit, they guide me as well on what a client will need. And if I can't provide that service, I have a really good referral base uh, for people to uh, explore as well. Because I, I don't believe that I am everything to everyone, but I know that I can contribute in a really positive and proactive way, whatever way I can. Absolutely, Lana. <clears throat> like I said earlier on, we're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. And all I've heard from what you've been talking is give, 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 give. Yeah. Now, I feel very bad to ask you to give us yet another last, um, you know, uh, statement that you might want us to, you know, segue into 2018, um, you know, knowing that we are now getting connected with our deeper self so that we can truly um you know live life to to the fullest what is the one thing that um you know you could just say to somebody who's been sitting on the fence or just really is not certain um where to go or where life is taking them and 2017 just came and gone and they didn't achieve anything now we're going into 2018 and they're tired of living like that well uh Again, I work on the energetic principle. This time of year is a really good time to be starting to think about what you want to learn and what you want to give back. If, if you're not allowing yourself to receive, giving gets harder to do. And so at this point in time, as 2017 winds up and we start to really look at 2018 as a blank slate that we can fill, uh, I always say to people, this is a time to really sit back look at the big picture and celebrate everything that happened in 2017 because even though you may feel like you didn't achieve anything, you had 365 days of living and something was achieved whether you recognise that or not. So now is the time to reflect as we, as we leave 2017 and take all the good stuff out of it. Take all the experiences that you had Put them in your toolkit and get that toolkit ready for 2018. As we dawn into 2018 and you look at the potential of the next 12 months, it's a time to look at where you want to take initiative. What do you want to do? Have some structure in your life without setting it in stone. But give yourself something to work with. Goals are really, really important because goals are really just manifestations. They're, law, they're the things that you put out to the law of attraction. 
Now, just because you put it out there doesn't mean it's going to land in your lap. You still need to have objectives and strategies in place. So start to identify how these things are possible rather than what is possible. Because, well, of course, focus on what. Absolutely, that's the goal. When you look at what you can do to put that in place, who you can connect with, how you would be able to learn and grow, that's how we create the life that we want to create. The dawning of, of 2018 doesn't set everything in stone for you. That's just the 1st of January. What sets things in stone for you is what you decide that you want to do and what you want to, how you want to go about achieving that because you must have fun. It's so important that you enjoy life. It's not all about stress. We all get stressed and usually that's because we're not getting what we want. So rather than allow stress to consume you, look at how you can go another way. Have a plan A, B, C and D. Don't set everything in stone because everything in life is temporary. Even 2018 will be gone in 12 months' time. And then you'll be looking at it again for 2019. Have a lifelong plan. Have a big picture. Don't just focus on the pixels because the pixels are only the part of the picture. And when you get too set in those pixels, you're going to lose sight of everything that it is that you're, you're wanting to achieve. So focus on the big picture and then bring it down to the pixels being the objectives and the strategies to make that picture a reality. Absolutely. I'm also taking that lesson on board of focusing on the bigger picture because obviously the lessons of life that you have um, learned have been your greatest teachers and have provided you with the depth of knowledge, you know, about, you know, first of all, human experience and all the wisdom that you have shared with us on this video today. Now, obviously, I can't thank you enough, Lana, for your time, your level of experience and the wisdom that you just dropped with us uh, on this show today. I really, really wish you all the best in the coming year as well and hope you get to see the bigger picture too. Uh, well, I'm constantly reminding myself to, <laughs> I don't sit on a perch, but I want to say thank you so much for inviting me to come on to your show. It's an honour and a privilege to be a part of the big picture that you are creating. And I just want to, as 2017 ends, I want to congratulate you on everything that you have done to help everybody as well, because it, it takes a special person to want to see the best in people. And I love that you're that special person. So thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me uh, come on to your show and sharing me with, with your people. Uh, it's, it's, it's something that is amazing. And I wish you every success for 2018 too. Absolutely. Well, I thank you for those last words there. I was about to cut the bit out, but no, I'll keep this in the record. <laughs> so we can have, but thank you so much, Lana, for your time um, on the show today. Merry Christmas and a happy new year to everyone. You too. Bye for now. Bye.